So here's what I've learned about relationships only this year. <laughs> it took a while. It took decades. Am I an expert? No, but I've learned a lot from being married for 20 years, boyfriends and lovers, and uh, being in business, actually, because <clears throat> there's relationships with business, and there's also relationships that you have with friends. So this covers everything. Um, but to start out, one of the main things I've learned is that many people should stay single. <laughs> and here's why. <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, here's some good reasons why. You get the bed to yourself. Your home is your domain. If you put something down, it's there when you go to get it. It doesn't get moved. Um, you can be messy or neat, depending on what you like. You can read five books in a weekend in your pajamas and nobody tells you you're lazy. You're just resting. No snoring. So the real reason behind all of that is that many people don't have the tools, <laughs> is the going word now, um, to be in a relationship. So if you know, many people are staying single now to write that book and live their own life and have their own thing going on. And that's way better than being in a tortured, bad relationship. As I know all of us have. Um, so why not invest in yourself, get to know yourself, which brings me to the next point. Here's only what I learned this year. Before I get into that, what do you bring to the table in a partnership? Um, you know, it's like publishing. Uh, when my first book got published, a lot of people said, oh, I want to write a book with you. I'm like, do you have any experience writing? No. Do you have any contacts in the publishing industry? No. So what did they bring to the table? Hmm, not anything that I needed. Um, <clears throat> one person even said, you can do the photographs and I'll do the poetry. Oh, it doesn't need to make money, he said. You know, I don't write books to fail. I mean, I don't write them so that, <laughs> I mean, I love writing, but, um, I like to be paid too. And even if I didn't make hardly anything, um, that would be okay. But, you know, it it still is with the how much I love it, it is a business. So if you're not going to bring something to the table in any partnership, I mean, really, look at your own fine qualities. Like we all have this like long list myself included, about what you want, but really, I think the better thing to think about is what you bring to the table. Um, so anyway, back to relationships. If you're not adding something of value, compassion, passion, whatever you want in life, um, are you bringing that? See, that's the important part. And the final thing I'll say is, this is what I learned this year, is that <clears throat> you get what you allow. So, you know, really let that sink in. You get what you allow. Because good or bad, and a lot of us have let bad things happen and let them go on too long until you just get to a place where you're just not okay with it anymore. Really really grasp onto that we get what we allow because it's really true in any kind of partnership if you're allowing yourself to be treated really badly and not saying anything about it then it's going to continue um and even in business relationships where 
there's a way that you'll work there's a, there's an amount you'll work for I mean there has to be clear guidelines <laughs> in any partnership so that's the main thing about what I wanted to say to you today because there's a lot to learn in the allowing part and I'm just coming up on it about what I allow in my life and it really comes from you know let everybody be who they are ourselves included and then when it goes along with something that feels right for you and you know it's the right thing you'll know so be safe out there take care of each other and I'll see you in the next video.